We go to one of your tweets because it encapsulates, encap encapsulates all of your feelings around this dynamic Knicks team. We understand that there's a new contender in the baby name game for you and your wife. <laughs> oh, that's real. Um, right around his second step back three in the fourth quarter of that Utah game, I looked over at my six month pregnant wife and we're trying to figure out the name, you know, for our second son coming in May. And I said, hey, Austin. Well, and then better yet, what about Austin River Ferrara? Like that just has a ring to it. And uh, it was a hard no out of the gate, but I'm still now I'm trying to juggle either River or Austin. Like I'm trying to get one in there. River is cute. River is cute. I like it. I like it. I think we should go with my boy Deezus from Deezus and Merrill's suggestion and just rename the Hudson after Austin and just call it the Austin <laughs> River, which might work out as well. <laughs> what do you think of that, Jerry? <laughs> I will definitely be there for that ribbon cutting ceremony when we rename. <laughs> I, yes, I would, I would attend that ceremony when we rename the Hudson River the Austin River. Yes. All right. All right. So, obviously, Austin is playing terrific. So is Julius. We've seen lots of good things from the squad. It starts at the top. The Thibodeau effect, Jerry, so far, what's been your biggest takeaway? Well, somehow, some way, you know, everybody's bought into what he's coaching. Uh, the thing that I responded to out of the gate was uh, I get a lot of my feelings from Mike Breen's voice, you know, and, like, what he's feeling like watching. And, uh, what I loved early on was after maybe two bad possessions in a row and Tibbs would call a timeout, you'd hear Mike Breen go, oh, Thibodeau is fired up. Two bad defensive possessions. And you would call a timeout, and you felt the feeling even as a fan watching, like, oh, man, Tibbs is really hot. Like, you felt the accountability, even from, like, Breen saying how mad Tibbs was as two bad back-to-back -back possessions. And then they would come out and string together a run. So, uh I think he's been fantastic. They're buying in. Looks like he's having fun, too. Tibbs is not a guy you really yeah. look at and like, wow, he's having fun. I think he's having fun coaching this young team. I agree. I don't think I've ever seen Tom Thibodeau smile in more press conferences than he has <laughs> this season. I'm like, I didn't even know the dude had teeth for this long. <laughs> so um, you keep saying the words buy in. That's, that's been like a constant theme throughout this Knicks franchise. And I don't think one person has bought in more than Julius Randle. If you, if you would have told me last year that Knicks fans would be ecstatic on the way Julius Randle was playing this year. They would probably call you crazy. Nobody has flipped the franchise or flipped the fan base quicker than Julius Randle playing at an all-star level. What are your thoughts on this kid's amazing start off to the season? Well, look, I've always been a fan. You could even find a tweet from me early last year saying, you know what, sneaky call. I like Julius Randle to make the all-star game. This was before last year. Um, one big thing I like to see, you know, David Fisdale was definitely right about something. He was running the offense through Randall, but where I think the thing that bothered me when I didn't even go to games is that it seemed like every outlet pass in that era was going to Randall and Julius was bringing the ball up like 60, 70% of the time. And that's where I think there was some trouble happening. Tibbs has it. So he's definitely running the offense through Randall, but you don't really see Randall bringing it up as much. We're, and, you know, as we see, you know, Barrett and Peyton doing that. And um, he clearly is a great decision maker. And, you know, uh, he's definitely in shape because you got to be in shape to play in a Tibbs offense. Hello? So, uh, I mean, yeah, it's MVP candidate numbers. Um, seven and a half assists. Let's go. Distributing from the power forward position. Okay, so producer said this. I didn't. I almost feel like Kaz actually should be asking this question. I'll not say me. it. I'll say it, Monica. Okay, I'll please, say it. Listen, it's a new year. You know what I mean? The Knicks are on fire. There's playing tournaments. Are there playoff expectations for this New York Knicks team? Is it too early? What are you thinking? I am an extremely superstitious person by nature, always have been. Um, I, I don't even want to say that out loud because of any kind of jinxes, but um, I'm going to say we could start having the talk. We could now really start having the talk. You know, the game against the Thunder, that's a sneaky good test, right? Because that's a team I think we might be favored against. So take care of business. You know, we've shocked some teams already, Utah, Indiana, Milwaukee. Now let's go be the team that we might potentially be favored against, and hopefully you'll see 
you know, maybe we're not reading the headlines and just enjoying it too much. Like, let's go take care of business against the Thunder. Then we'll have that conversation. Six and three. Let's go. Okay. I like that. 